Hey guys, what is going on? It is Justin from Vonix Entertainment, and welcome to this week's Zer location video in Destiny 2. So, real quick, Zer is actually over in the tower. So, all you need to do is you need to go down to the tower, go into the left entrance where uh, Future War Cult, Dead Orbit, Amanda Holiday, Cade, and the Soccer Ring are, and you're going to run past Dead Orbit. And then you're going to go up these stairs and turn right, and he is right in front of you. So Zerg this week is selling his ISO Chronicle Ingram. Remember, this is an exotic Ingram that is weighed more towards an exotic you do not already have. It's a guaranteed exotic you do not already have, if there are exotics you do not already have for that character. So you can get either a weapon, or you can get armor from this, and if you are a hunter, then you're going to get hunter armor from it. If you're a warlock, you're going to get warlock armor from it. And if you're a titan, you're going to get titan armor for it. And remember, you only get one of these per account. So for this week, Zert is selling the Darcy as his uh, weapon of the week this week. And the Darcy, it's an all right sniper rifle. I don't really use it that much. I'm not a big, I'm not really that much of a fan of it, but it does work pretty well. So it's got personal assistant aim, aiming at enemies to view their its health and other critical information in the scope. This means that it's going to give you your health. It's going to give them, give you just about like the range of them. Um, that's pretty much all I really see in it. Whenever I look, I don't really look around too much. Uh, it's got target acquisition as well, which target acquired. Sorry. Uh, which the personal when the personal assistant is active this weapon has better target acquisition and deals more precision damage so target acquisition what that really means is whenever you shoot at an enemy if you're close enough to the head to the head it's gonna be a headshot so this means that that bubble to hit that head to hit the uh, precision area expands a little bit whenever you have the whenever you have target acquisition going on so that's what that really is and it does more damage whenever you get a precision hit which is a lot easier with that also the other ornament for it is mine of its own which basically makes it look more out, like it's out of void while the standard one kind of looks to me like it's made out of legos for the Hunter class, he's selling the Dragon Shadow. Now the Dragon Shadow grants increased movement and weapon handling uh, speed for a short time after dodging. So this is where you're going to want to dodge a lot more. So this works actually best with the, uh, I want to say Blade Dancer, but it's the Arc Strider class. If you use that class and you use the second tree, I believe is whenever you run, you can increase the amount of dodge energy you get so it's going to go up faster so this is probably the best way to use it uh you get to dodge and then run and have weapon handling speed increase for a short amount of time and that time is about five seconds for the warlock class he's selling the uh nizart sin uh and all it does is void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate so this means that uh, if you are using your void subclass however you don't have to use the void subclass notice it says void damage kills so this means you can use a secondary or a heavy that does void damage and this will still trigger but void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate so it just means that whenever you get killed with the void damage anything whether it's an ability or it is your weapons it's going to increase your ability recharge rate which is your shield which is your uh, rift your grenade and your melee for the time class he is selling the mk44 stand sides and this is honestly it's an all right exotic uh, I don't see it used much but uh, its best place is really in uh, crucible but grants an overshield when sprinting at full health uh, with seismic strike. So this means if you are arc, if you're running your arc subclass, 
you are going to get full you're going to uh sprint at if you're sprinting at full health you'll get an overshield uh whenever you are running your solar subclass or your shield uh subclass hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy so the best way to use this is honestly while you're using your striker subclass which is your arc subclass to get that overshield However, the overshield doesn't do as much as it did in Destiny 1. It still is nice to have that overshield. And then three of coins, again, I highly recommend not getting them. They just don't seem to work that much. And also the effect lasts for four hours. So you have four hours to use one, but at the same time, that four hours is kind of wasted in my opinion because you're all you're gonna have to be there for the full four hours to really get to really even see if it's gonna work it's it just barely increases the drop rate by maybe even just one percent but it's not it's not really worth it in my opinion legendary shards can barely be used for your boons and that's honestly my opinion on that so thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below and comment on what you want Zer to sell next week or what you hope to get from your ISO Chronicle Ingram. And if you are looking for the Destiny 1 Zer location video, there's a link down in the description below on where you can go to view that. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.